very bottom, the lower slopes there are at about 1,700 mm -hmm. feet. And you can see the, uh, the Sutter Buttes. I don't know if you know what. This is, this is uh, referred to as the, the world's shortest mountain range. Yeah. <laughs> is yeah. it? And yeah. what is it called again? Sutter Buttes. Sutter, Sutter Buttes. Buttes. It's the weirdest thing. It's it was one flat all the way around it. Wow. Just drive up. Alice, watch the, uh, the rope there. It's yeah. Yes. Although I, I think it's, I it's off. <laughs> Look at that. I know. It's Look at the way it's, it's all in the, it's so Babylonian. Up there. Yeah. It's crazy. It's like, it's unbel, it's, <laughs> it's, really fun. it's really fun. But it is so, I've, were there my visions too bad? Are fruit trees or vineyards down there? Around in a circular pattern. Well, those are the cherries. We well, have. the circular pattern be beyond yes, is yes, vineyard. I mean, it is. The closer one in a, in a by circle. the red truck, that's, that's uh, fruit, these, right? are, these are fruit trees. But the circle, you and, did, why, and why plant it in a circle like that? Because everything was contoured. Everything was, uh, I mean, the terracing was contouring the landscape, which was one of the main reasons why it was developed further and further because it was so beautiful. So, again, no business plan and just yeah. going for the beauty, mm -hmm. so it kept expanding. The original planting was where that tractor is. That area was the original slopes. Okay. It's called Slope 1, planted Cabernet Sauvignon mm -hmm. in 1976. The next year they planted, where now there are olive trees, right. where the, the other yes, yes. yellow tractor is there. This was Slope 2, that was the next year. Then there was slopes three, which used to be Zinfandel on the other side mm -hmm. of the winery. So at first it was pretty modest, mm -hmm. but gradually as it became clear that this is so beautiful, they wanted the whole hillside. Right. So they just went berserk. Sure. And still there's active, was it? No, or plantings up there, who's up there? Okay, now there, huh, it's, it's everybody. Uh, <laughs> facing us, the lowest everybody. facing us, this yeah. Cabernet Sauvignon, this is actually north facing. Mm -hmm. Cabernet Sauvignon that is farmed now by Grant and Eddie. Mm -hmm. Above it, nearly the whole little knoll top is what Renaissance refers to as the Granite Crown. They make a wine, or we make a wine that is called Granite Crown, which is a blend of uh, Syrah and Merlot, all grown on that very rocky area. We'll go there later. It's almost on bare rock. Um, it used to also have Cabernet Sauvignon on the little cleared area patch that you see over there. That is destined to be replanted this year. About two acres of Cabernet Sauvignon. That was, we will taste later, a single bottle from that location. In my mind, that had the finest quality of any Renaissance Cabernet. Um, not the biggest, not the richest, not the deepest but the finest very detailed very precise kind of expression which is very rare in california mm -hmm. i think and but the vines at the last few years that we found them until about three or four years ago they were giving about a quarter of a ton per acre so we just could not yeah, we couldn't farm it